after the 2008 season, you had a really tough decision to make. Right. Either stay at USC for your final year of eligibility or go to the NFL draft. How did you come to the decision that you made? You know, I looked at other players potentially coming out, other players potentially staying. I knew that uh, my draft stock at that time was pretty high after a, a solid showing in the Rose Bowl by, by our team. Uh, and I thought that was the best decision for me at the time. So draft day arrives, your name gets called. Number five pick to the Jets. Jets traded away their first round pick, their second round pick, and three players to get you, showing their confidence in you. Then they take it a step further. Five years, $50 million, not a bad paycheck coming out of college. Did that put any extra pressure on you in an already high pressure market? I mean, this is New York, baby. <laughs> it, was, it was a ton of pressure, dude. Uh, I can't lie. It was an incredible amount of pressure, but it was also my job. It was also something I wanted to do since I was a little kid. And I relied on my family, my experience, and, uh, and my hard work. So 2010, pretty good year for you and a good year for the gang green. Towards the end of the year, you took on a different role. You made an appearance on Saturday Night Live <laughs> yeah. alongside Tina Fey. So I have to ask, sure. what's tougher, looking across the line and seeing that elite defense or being on the most popular live TV show in America? Wow. Uh, you know, being a New York Jet, it afforded me some pretty incredible opportunities. Tina Fey, Saturday Night Live, that was also Justin Bieber uh, coming out with his 2.0, My World 2.0 album, which obviously I have a copy of. That was, uh, that was so special and so near and dear to my heart because of New York and that whole atmosphere. Um, you know, those are the kind of experiences that I'll remember forever. Hard Knocks also gave us an all-time line from your head coach at the time, Rex Ryan. I'm sure people still ask you about it to this day, yep. but after a team meeting and Rex is fired up, he concludes it by saying, let's go get a bleeping Please. snack. Yep. So take me through what led up to that, and be honest, did you laugh or no? Because oh, it was in the moment. Everybody laughed, but it, he said that before. So, I mean, it, it was incredible the way he did it and the way they captured it and cut it up, and it was perfect. Uh, but that was... That was every other meeting for Rex. We had not just that line, but there were sound bites that would have been gold. 